Hey everyone! Alright, so here's our next tutorial. Um, yeah, I got um, like multiple messages in the past from people going, I like this tutorial, but you really should stop doing so many drag tutorials and do the ones that you do on Halloween. And it took me a while to figure it out because I'm like, drag tutorials? I only have three of them. What are they talking about? And they were talking about all my tutorials that I've done for my subscribers that I've had since I started YouTube. Um, Halloween, I do for Halloween, so I thought I would do another drag tutorial just to spite those people. Um, so this one's for you. Um, yeah, but as you can see, there's a lot going on with the eyes and a lot going on with the hair. Um, a lot going on everywhere, actually. But, um, there's one thing I need to mention about this tutorial before I actually start, and that's the eyes are actually different. Um, if I lift this, ugh, you can see the eye shapes are different. Um, the reason I did that is I honestly didn't really want to cover my brow, but I thought I would cover one brow a different way and show the difference that it can make if you um, have a different shape brow or if your crease is a different shape so you're gonna see the difference between everything just by switching up two different things the eye and the or the crease and the brow so yeah um, I might do a tutorial on this hair later it's actually two wigs three chignons and a whole lot of sparkly hair accessories so yeah might do a tutorial on that later um, the only sad thing, though, about the hair is I didn't have any hairspray while I was doing all of this, so, yeah, there's still flyaways and stuff like that, but pretty darn good for doing it in 45 minutes with, yeah, limited supply. So, yeah, with all that said, let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial started. Alright, now the first thing that I actually did was I covered half of my brow. I just covered from here over. Um, I used a glue stick. Um, first I went over a spirit gum, then I did a little bit of glue stick, set it with powder. Then I just went in with this brow pen, and then did, like, an outline of, well, like, a bottom line of the brow that I'm actually gonna do. And I really like how this brow pen was able to draw on top of everything that I put on there. So, good recommendation, one of these bad boys. But now that I have that on, I'm just gonna do, like, my base or whatever. So I'm gonna use this liquid liner from Urban Decay. Um, it's just a bright purple. And I'm going to apply that right in my crease. Then I'm just going to go in with a brush, but you could use your finger. And I'm just lightly going to blend this into the skin. Now I have that on. You can see it's not perfect, but that's totally fine. Because now we're just going to go over it with this color. Um, this is Makeup Forever's number 92. Um, very, very bright, vivid violet, and then I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and just right on top of all of that, apply this color. I just went in with Q-tip and makeup remover and just erased everything that was on the lid, but I just went and shaped out a new baseline for the crease, which you can see. But now that the crease area is done, I'm going to take the Pandora Duo from NARS, and I'm just going to take the white color, and I'm just going to put that underneath the brow and blend it down into um, the crease. Now I'm going to go back in with that purple liner I used earlier, and I'm going to paint over my entire lid. Then with that number 92, again, I'm just going to press that all over this liner. And this part you can actually skip since we're adding glitter later, but I'm just doing it because I want to. Then I'm going to go back in with this NARS Duo, and I'm going to apply the black right at the base of the crease. And just blend it up towards the brow. Now I'm going to add glitter, and my new favorite thing to add glitter is this. It's by LA Splash. It's their, like, eyeshadow base slash sealer, but I don't like it for either of those, really, because, yeah. But I like to use it for glitter because it's sticky, and, of course, it goes on clear, so you can use it with any color. So what I'm going to do is put a lot of this on the back of my hand. Then once I have that on, I can go in with a brush, and I'm just going to use that same one I used earlier with the purple. And I'm going to pick up some of this, and then I'm just going to pat it. And then I'm going to press the glitter on top of that, and the glitter I'm using is a combination of 3D silver and purple. 
I'm going to use a different brush since I still have to put the sticky stuff on my other eye, but I'm just going to pick up the glitter and press that all over. So the glitter's on. You can see how I did it. Purple out here, 3D silver in here with a little bit of 3D silver right underneath the base of the crease to contrast against that black. Same thing on this side, which is the more toned down side, but again, this is going to be covered. So that's why I'm doing two different ones for you guys. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of tape. This is medical tape. And I'm going to take off all this fallout glitter. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to start doing my skin. Um, to do that, I just use Studio Tech Foundation. Um, like any full coverage foundation would work. This is like almost full coverage. Um, you, like Max Factor Pan Stick Foundation is like the greatest one to use, but I don't have any right now, so I'm going to use what I have left of Tech. And of course, you're just going to put that all over. Hide the septum ring. I have the color on, so now I'm just going to go in and do some of my highlighting. I'm just going to use a light colored concealer. Okay, now as far as powder goes for this, since I have a lighter color up here and in certain areas and then like the skin tone everywhere else if I use a full coverage powder that matches my skin tone all over it'll conceal that so I'm actually gonna use two different powders I'm gonna use this makeup forever HD powder on the lighter areas um, and then I'm gonna use this one which is NC 45 this is my skin tone believe it or not um, it deepens up when it's on the skin everywhere else, but I'm also lightly going to dust a little bit on the lighter areas to blend all the edges a little bit better. So I'm going to do that right now. And for the powders, I'm actually going to use different little face puffs. Um, that way I can actually stamp the powder on and get a nice even coating. Now I'm going to start contouring, and to start it off, I'm actually going to use just a brown blush. This is Blunt um, from MAC. I'm just going to pick a little bit up on my brush, and start putting it where I want it. So now that I have the light contouring on, you see I did um, cheeks, bridge in the nose, down the nose. To intensify some areas, like underneath the cheekbones, I'm going to go on with a very, very dark color now. This is NW50. This is a full coverage foundation, but in powder form. Um, so I'm just going to do that in certain areas to deepen up the contour. Now that all that's done, um, I'm going to finish my eyes. I just have liner, lashes, and brows. I'm going in with this on my waterline. Instead of using black, I'm going to open up my eyes just a little bit so I can get kind of more of a wide eye effect since I'm going to have lashes and everything else. This color is not white. It's more of a creamy, um, off-white, beige kind of color. This is called Vow. It's by Illamasqua. Um, you can only get it overseas, though, like over in Europe. So if you have friends over there, you can have them pick it up. Otherwise, if you go over there, but whatever. But I'm just going to take this and line my waterline. Now I'm going to do the bottom, but instead of going straight to black, I'm actually going to use a brown. This is Teddy, and I'm just going to put that right underneath my bottom lashes. I'm going in with that same duo from earlier, the NARS Pandora duo, and I'm using the black, and then I'm just going to butt this up right against my bottom lashes, and then blend it out into that brown so it's got a nice fade to it. Now go in and add false lashes or anything like that that you wanted to, um, and then mascara. Last thing is lips, so I'm just going to go in with this. This is just 80% lip liner. Um, it's a reddish brown, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to fill in my lips, or outline my lips, rather. Now the actual lip color that I'm going to use is by Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics OCC. It's one of their lip tars. Um, very, 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 ugh, I can't talk, very highly pigmented. Um, so you only need a little bit of these, and I'm just going to dab a little, little bit on the center of my lip 
and see that's how much I put on. I'm just going to go in with the brush and I'm going to spread that around. You can see it gave me opaque coverage but I just spread it around. That's all I needed. When I say these are highly concentrated and full of pigment, I'm not joking. Um, yeah, as you just saw. So now that I have that on, um, if you want to do a gloss on top of it, you can. Um, I guess I'll do like a little bit of a gloss, but I'll do it off camera. I'm going to let this hair down, but you would go ahead and put your hair on at this point. And yeah, then we'll go from there. Okay, so the hair is now pulled down so you can see the eyes like the brow and everything doesn't really matter because it's all changed um i put on this big coat it's um vinyl full fur um because when you have the big hair then you need the big coat so yeah and then of course the very sparkly necklace so yeah that's it for this tutorial so i hope it's helpful to some of you and until my next one i will talk to all of you soon bye